All right, we have 10 minutes to show you how to draw a raccoon, so let's get to it. I'm gonna draw a raccoon. Okay, first, we're gonna give him a little face. Oh, that's not the right thing. Here's his little mascara. Oh, he's looking cute already. Drawing is so much fun. He's got a nose. He's cleaning himself. He's cleaning himself. He's trying to get that lobster out. He's got cute little ears. Now, it could go anyway right now. We could go panda. We could go uh, polar bear. We could go lemur. But we're going raccoon. There's a very specific way to make sure he's a raccoon. Alright. And let me give you a clue. It involves these things on his tail. Alright. <laughs> he's officially raccoon. And then uh, we'll give him a belly. And then, uh, let's see. I think he needs a longer kind of snout nose. Not, that's not a whisker. It's a snout. And let's see. I think they got like additional stripage. So we're going to give them some of that. But I'm sure that a lot of that's just genetic permutations. This is like their gang signs. They're like, oh, based off of your stripes, I'm guessing that um, you ain't from here. So don't come here. Why don't you go clean your food somewhere else? And then there's like raccoon gang warfare and documented in uh, Japanese um, anime. And so he's got claws to defend himself. And um, oh, he's so raccoony. Okay, and then we're not going to cover the belly because, you know, you got to kind of like keep like a belliness. And, um, let's see, whiskers will be good. Right, we've got ourselves a raccoon. Now we're going to give him green eyes because raccoons prefer to, um, oh, wow, I have so much trouble moving the layers. <coughs> raccoons, uh, come out at night. Wait, no, I don't want to, no. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Raccoons like to come out at night. They're night creatures. I'm a night creature. He's nocturnal. He's nocturnal. Someone called him Turtle. He was like, I'm nocturnal. Look at that. Yeah, he's like, he's kind of, he's kind of introspective for a raccoon. He's been thinking about how his life is going. He has questions. He says, um, you know, is this what I want to be doing all my life? Do I want to steal food from trash cans and then clean it and then eat it and then be chased off by local neighborhood boys who would certainly kill me if they could? This raccoon says, I'd rather test my fate with the other raccoon gangs than, um, these neighborhood boys with their firecrackers. I don't blame them. You know. Okay. So. See we got six minutes left. So we're in good shape. Um, I don't even know if our raccoons are brown. But this one is. And. Uh, so now we got to give them more stuff. To do. Because uh, we got time. And what do. Let me tell you something. Raccoons. They love the trash. They love trash cans. And so trash cans are really just Greek buildings that have been surrealized. Alright, and then here's a here's a neat tip. If you want to make something look high, uh make it bend up instead of bending down. Because if you bend it down it'll make it look low. But you didn't know that. That's why I'm here to show you how to draw a raccoon. You didn't know that you're gonna get a trash can lesson. It's just part of the deal. Lucky. Right. Oh, this is the moment of magic right here for the raccoon. He's like, 
Dude, I smell something. I smell... I smell fish. I smell... There's a scent... There's a definite fish scent coming from that trash can, says the raccoon. And I am smelling me some fish right now. There's definitely fish coming out of that... There's definitely some dead fish in that trash can. There's no doubt about it. As a raccoon, I am familiar with the scent of dead fish. I have eaten many a dead fish that has come from a trash can, and that is... You know, that, that dead fish, if I am not mistaken, was eaten with celery. Because I definitely get the scent of celery with that fish and that's going to make it all the more pleasant says our raccoon friend so we got the scent of fish coming out here that's good and we got four minutes left so we're doing real good okay and then I'm going to lower the opacity of that layer so it'll be a scent just a scent and then let's see uh, I'm going to make that trash can great but I'm also going to rust it a little bit Give it a little bit of rust now. That's where the reality comes in. You always gotta uh, damage things a bit. Scratch them up, if you will. Man, finding the right color for rust is kind of difficult. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this um, purplish. Man, that's a rusty trash can. That trash can looks like it's gotten some good use out of it. I'm gonna some brighter reds and now some orange. Rusty, man, that is a rusty looking trash. Dude. I hope this raccoon got his tetanus shot. This is why you don't want to deal with a rabid raccoon because you've been touching this trash can. It's not the smell of dead fish, it's the rust. Well, it's the rust that has cut dead fish and then could cut you. Uh. Okay, and with two minutes left, we're going to give them a background. Okay, and, uh, they are nocturnal, so let's start with, um, let's start with, uh, the black of night. Oh, ooh, I kind of like that, you know? That was not what I was intending, but it works. Oh, yeah. Now, how exotic is that? Some exotic shit. Okay, and then, I'm going to add... A little bit of the moon opacity. Moonlight. It's like how lucky I am to be out here on this beautiful evening, hunting trash can, hunting dead fish. Oh, what have I done? Not the raccoon, but what have I done? My okay. And then uh, we gotta put a little bit of moon in there. The moon is not yellow. The moon is white. How lucky I am. Okay, that's how to draw a raccoon. Congratulations. Stop this video.